PML, as you may know, uh, is an infectious disease of the brain caused by JC virus, a virus that you and I, most healthy people, are infected by, but doesn't cause any disease. However, this virus can reactivate in the brain of patients who have a low immune system because of AIDS, transplant recipients, medication uh, such as corticosteroids, or patients with multiple sclerosis treated with immunomodulatory medication. <coughs> the most famous one is natalizumab or tisabri that has been associated with uh, close to 700 cases of PML worldwide to date. In healthy people, the virus infects you know, probably 50% of the health, normal healthy population without causing any disease at all. But in a uh, natalizumab-treated uh, MS patient, the virus can reactivate, go to the brain, and kill some brain cells leading to this disease for which there's, there's no cure called PML. All right. Um, the uh, risk of developing this disease in MS patients treated with natalizumab is 6 per thousand after 24 injection of natalizumab. It is small, but in those patients who are JC virus seropositive, that means they have been exposed to the virus and who have been treated with immunosuppressive medication before natalizumab for the treatment of MS, the risk is up to one out of 90 patients you know, for developing PML, which is very high. It's second only to patients with AIDS who are not on any anti-HIV medication. So when somebody gets PML, then you have a virus that is actively uh, uh, killing brain cells called oligodendrocytes and astrocytes in the brain, leading to multiple area of demyelination. It's a little bit like MS, except that instead of being a relapsing, remitting disease, it's a progressive disease, hence the name progressive multifocal leukoencephalopathy. And <clears throat> the disease attacks the component uh, of the white matter called the myelin. It's as if you strip the plastic coating from the electric wire. The neurons itself is not in infected directly, but the plastic coating, which is the myelin, you know, the insulating material in the brain is destroyed and that leads to intermission of ner ner nerve conduction in the brain associated with paralysis, uh, weakness, uh, seizures, coma and death. It's not good. Uh, it's an incurable disease of the brain um, and it can be lethal uh, in MS patients treated with natalizumab in about 20% of those. So in a sense, you have a very good drug for multiple sclerosis called natalizumab that may lead in rare cases to a deadly infectious disease complication affecting the nervous system. There's a blood test uh, which uh, detects the presence of antibodies against JC virus. Um, uh, it's a serological test. So according to this blood, blood test, about 55% of MS patients have antibodies against this virus, <clears throat> but it's not 100% specific or sensitive. And you can find people who are seronegative with this test, but have detectable JC virus DNA in their urine sample. That means that they have been, they have the virus in their body, yet they are, don't have detectable antibodies using this test. The screening test is the serological test because obviously if somebody has not been exposed to the, to the virus, then there's no risk of developing the disease, right? That's one thing, although this is not 100% sensitive or specific as we, uh, as we just said. Now, um, there's another test which um, is called the JC virus antibody index, which means the, that measures the amount of antibody the patient has in their serum. And uh, there is a threshold uh, which has been published uh, in the literature of 1.5, which is the, the antibody in index you know, level in a sense, above which people have 10 times more risk of developing PML if they have 
this amount of antibody in their in their blood. Uh, but this uh, test is only good, uh, is only valid in patients who have not been treated with immunosuppressive medication before going on natalizumab. So only a certain selection of uh, people uh, who are MS patients can actually benefit of the predictive value of this test.